Hey, Ashmore Things Dentistry, and we're just teaching an endo course right now. It's been a two-week uh, clinical endo, so we do tabletop endo treatment with plastic teeth and, and extracted teeth, and we do real patients. So one of the students came up and asked a great question. And what we get them to do is we get them to check their working length. So if this is our plastic tooth, and I just painted the uh, the palatal canal just with some marker, and we've cut the we've we've instrumented this tooth with a 4505 45, wave one gold large. And we fit our gutta percha point. And then to confirm when they're drying their their tooth with paper points, what we get them to do is take their, this is one technique you can, do, you can use just to confirm your length, is we're gonna take our paper point to dry our canal. Let's get it in there. And we're gonna take it right to right a little bit. You see how it goes a little bit long on the tooth? And let's pretend this is our PDL. So this is the PDL or the lesion or whatnot. It'll get the paper point wet that comes out of the tooth. And then we just touch that and it bends a little bit. You can see a little bit of bend there. And then we measure that with our ruler and then we reconfirm our length. However, the question was, how do you know if your paper point's actually going out the end of the tooth? I'm like, okay, well, that's a great question. Let's check. So one of the ways we can do that is to check the size. Let's gauge the size of these paper points. And this is, might be different for your, your system you're using. So the first thing we're gonna do is let's make sure that our gutta percha points are actually what they say. So a medium size, a medium tip is a 35 in the wave one gold system. So let's take a look. Let's place this in our gutta gauge, which is a 30. This is our, it gauges the tip of the gutta percha. And you can see it's pretty much flush. If we get it right there. So this is how we know that our gutta percha is exactly fit at 35. So let's try another one. Now, when you make gutta percha, imagine you, I don't know, they strip it off a tree and they, and they roll it into these little carrots. And then you get gutta percha. You see, see this gutta percha is a little bit longer. So this, instead of it being a 35, it might be like a 34.5 or something like that. So it just lets you know what size. So we could actually use a 15 blade or just cut that. Let's do that, and then that gives us our a 35 tip. So interesting enough, in the Wave 1 Gold large size, when we place this, a large is actually a 45. So when we place that in here, it actually doesn't go out. Look at that, it just fell out. Put it in the 45, and it actually, if this is the, let's see, there's a 45, it actually doesn't come out. So it's actually larger than a 45. So. Let's go into a 50. So it looks like it comes out a bit, maybe a millimeter out the end. So it looks like this is actually cut for 47, maybe like a 47 tip. And that might be actually good if you're doing a continuous wave of condensation or thermoplastic, like a backfill technique, but just be cognizant that it might be a little bit shorter. So once, because when you, if you fit your cones to length and they're short, you might actually be short, your cone might be just bigger. So what we're gonna do is let's check our wave, let's check the paper point size now. And we use this to confirm our working length. So let's just do this. So this is, remember our mediums are a 35 tip. So if we place this in a pre preparation out the end, it actually, this one doesn't do a really good example. So, so if we replace this to length, whoop, oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to edit this out. We place that to length, you can see it actually goes out a bit. So it's actually, what this is saying is that this paper point's actually like a 30 tip, which is really good because when we go to check our working length, and I'll reconfirm our working length right before we're gonna check our gutta percha. So see how they all go long? So that's good. So what we're gonna do, and let's check. So we did that for the mediums. And you know, there's a thousand different systems and this is just wave on gold. So this is a 45. And you see how the little tip goes beyond. So that's great. So let me show you how we use that. So what we do is we have our student fit their gutta percha cone. If this is their, their tooth, we'll fit their gutta percha cone to length. That one's a bit long. This is the one I cut, I think. There we go. So we have our student fit their gutta percha cone. We take a radiograph and we're happy, but let's reconfirm just before, you see how it's just a little bit short and you actually, this is a great image to show you that the radiographic apex is longer normally than your actual apical constriction.
<clears throat> so let's take our working length here from our palatal cusp. We're gonna pinch our cones. This is one of the things that really teaches students to really pinch your cones. And you can see that when we go to reseed it, you can see exactly where it's seated. So let's measure this. And that's roughly 22 and a half. So 22 and a half millimeters. That's what our working like this. So let's take some Wavelength Gold paper points. You could do this to well, a few different, few different ways. What we're gonna do is we're going to place this into our canal. And it, clinically, what I would do is I'd place it a little bit, get rid of pressure, and you can see it comes out the end. So, what we would do is in a real tooth, it would actually touch the PDL. It would get a little bit moist. I would take my cotton forceps, place it on my working length. And then what I would do is I press the end and see how it bends a bit and see if this can work. And that tells me that my working length is roughly 22. I might have left it a little bit, a little bit wet, but we're in the ballpark. So let's do it one more time. There we go. So what we do is we could actually, oh, another way we can do it, this is just a little refining, refinement of the technique. So let's set this for 23 millimeters. Got it there. Let's take it into our tooth, outer palatal canal to our working length. We're good there. It comes out a millimeter. Let's put it on our PDL for a second. And then we'll pull it out. All right, so we're roughly kind of like 22, 22 and a quarter. So what we would do next is we would set a word, we could cut, we could step back a half millimeter. So let's do it to say 22 and a half. All right, there. All right, so 22 and a half, we'll place this out. And you don't, you see it doesn't even come out. You can see it barely comes out at 22 and a half. Let's touch it on our PDL, our cotton gauze PDL, and it's pretty much dry. So that reconfirms that our initial working length or our final working length our working length in general, because we're cutting back about a 0.5 millimeters from the red bar on the apex locator, is at length. And when you go to seat this cone, when you place it back down, you don't have to fool around because you know exactly where it is at length because it's right there. And let's take a look again. It's perfect. So, we, so the idea is to reconfirm your working length with paper points. And we talked about some gutter, you know, gutter gauge and making sure that your, your gutter percha points are exactly the apical size that they say they are. Anyways, I hope that helps. Subscribe, share, and uh, you know, play some comments. It's always great to hear from you. Cheers.